Many of us spend our lives evading the tough inquiries, those that shake our comfort zones and challenge the status quo of our daily lives. But what if I told you that your greatest potential lies concealed within these uncomfortable inquiries? It's not merely about pushing boundaries, it's about obliterating them. Today we delve into the ancient yet perennially relevant realm of Stoicism, a philosophy that not only questions our thought processes, but also reshapes our way of life. Stoicism, originating from ancient Greece, teaches us that resilience isn't about avoiding challenges, but about embracing them as inevitable components of our personal development. It doesn't just provide the courage to confront adversity, but also the discernment to identify what truly matters amidst turmoil. As we unravel the tenets of Stoicism, we'll examine how these timeless principles can guide you toward more enriching lives. Whether you're feeling stagnant or simply seeking to refine your approach to life's obstacles, stay tuned. This journey into Stoicism isn't solely about grasping a philosophy. It's about embodying it every single day. And as always, if you find value in our endeavors here, the simple no-cost favor I'll ask of you is to hit the subscribe button. In the midst of the hustle and bustle of everyday life, finding moments of reflection and personal growth can seem challenging. But what if there was a way to incorporate timeless wisdom into your daily routine? Discover the Daily Stoic 366. Meditations on wisdom, perseverance, and the art of living. An inspiring guide filled with daily meditations to strengthen your mind, cultivate perseverance, and refine the art of living. Explore the pages of this book and embark on a journey of self-discovery and spiritual growth. Click the link below to start your personal development journey and explore the teachings of Stoicism. Now, let's dive in. Number one, begin with small steps. Stoicism teaches us that significant changes originate from small, deliberate actions. It's not about revolutionizing your life overnight, but about making gradual, purposeful adjustments that ultimately lead to substantial transformation. This philosophy doesn't advocate for swift, radical change, which can be overwhelming and unsustainable. Instead, it underscores the potency of incremental progress. Each minor step you take is a building block towards shaping your new self. Just as Zeno of Citium, the founder of Stoicism, would advise, it's about laying one brick at a time, methodically and intentionally, to construct the sturdy path towards self-improvement. So, how does one commence with small steps? In practical terms, it could be as simple as dedicating five minutes each morning to reflection or journaling, practices deeply entrenched in Stoic tradition. These moments of introspection enable you to align your daily actions with your core values, fostering inner peace and clarity that steer the rest of your day. Another small yet impactful stride could involve adjusting your reactions to external pressures. Stoics practice reframing their perspectives to manage responses to events beyond their control. This entails pausing when you feel agitated or upset and opting for a response rooted in composure and rationality rather than impulsiveness. Commencing with small actions also entails embracing the principle of Stoic acceptance, which urges acknowledging and adapting to the present circumstances rather than wishing for a different reality. This could entail gracefully accepting minor inconveniences or acknowledging challenging emotions without allowing them to dictate to your actions. By focusing on these small, manageable facets of your life, you're not merely practicing stoicism, you're embodying it. Each incremental step reinforces your commitment to self-mastery and continual growth, epitomizing the stoic notion that genuine progress is a deliberate and measured journey, not a sprint. Number two, cultivate consistency. Ancient Stoics like Seneca and Marcus Aurelius understood the value of structure in liberating us from the chaos of daily decision-making, bringing us closer to our virtues. A well-designed routine isn't confining. It's a scaffold supporting our loftiest aspirations and principles. Consider your daily routine as a garden. Just as a garden flourishes with regular care, your habits and rituals thrive with consistent nurturing to cultivate the virtues of wisdom, justice, courage, and temperance, the foundational tenets of Stoicism. 
Begin by pinpointing times in your day conducive to activities reinforcing these virtues. Whether it's a morning meditation, nurturing peace, wisdom and temperance, or dedicating time to assist others, promoting justice and courage, identify slots where you can incorporate these practices. But how do you establish such a routine? Start with small, manageable commitments. If mornings aren't your forte, don't burden yourself with demanding tasks at dawn. Instead, sync your activities with your natural rhythms. Allocate moments for reflection, perhaps through journaling or absorbing Stoic literature, to reaffirm your commitment to Stoic principles. Furthermore, infuse your day with Stoic pauses, brief interludes to pause, reflect on your emotional state, and realign with Stoic ideals. Take time to ask yourself, are my actions in harmony with my virtues? These pauses can fortify your routine by grounding your behaviors in Stoic wisdom. A Stoic routine also embraces adaptability within its framework. Stoicism underscores the importance of responding to circumstances with equanimity. Thus, if unforeseen events demand your attention or an opportunity to exercise a virtue arises, adjust your schedule accordingly. The objective isn't rigid adherence to a checklist, but purposeful living guided by Stoic values. As you establish and refine your routine, keep in mind that the ultimate goal transcends mere productivity. It's about nurturing a character characterized by steadfastness and virtue, irrespective of external circumstances. A Stoic routine fosters a life not just of efficiency, but of moral rectitude and philosophical contentment. Number three, take charge of your mind amidst anxiety. From the Stoic viewpoint, Anxiety doesn't arise from external circumstances, but from our interpretations of those circumstances. This perspective is empowering. It indicates that you hold ultimate authority over your inner state, regardless of external factors. Stoicism teaches us to dissect our anxiety, understand its origins, and challenge the judgments that sustain it. Anxiety often stems from our attempts to control the uncontrollable, the future, others' opinions, or the outcomes of events. However, according to Stoicism, the only true realms of control are our actions, thoughts, and reactions. When you feel anxiety creeping in, take a moment to assess. Are you worrying about something beyond your control? Shift your focus to actionable responses, which are always within your reach. This change isn't about suppressing emotions, but about shifting perspective. Regular practice of this stoic detachment can significantly weaken anxiety's grip. It involves cultivating mental discipline to acknowledge fears, evaluate their validity, and pivot towards aspects of a situation that are within your control. Stoic figures like Marcus Aurelius often emphasize the importance of distinguishing between external events and internal reactions, advocating for self-mastery in the face of life's uncertainties. Additionally, Stoicism promotes proactive mental preparation through techniques like pre-meditatio malorum, imagining worst-case scenarios to mentally fortify yourself. While it may seem counterintuitive, confronting fears mentally diminishes their influence, reducing anxiety by fostering resilience in adversity. By embracing these stoic practices, you develop mental resilience that not only guards against future anxieties, but also enables you to fully embrace the present moment. Each episode of anxiety becomes an opportunity to apply stoic principles, turning potential paralysis into a catalyst for personal growth and inner fortitude. Number four, exercise self-command. In stoicism, issuing the directive to halt isn't merely about terminating a behavior. It's about asserting dominion over our impulses and desires which often lead us astray. Rooted in the Stoic doctrine of self-mastery, it underscores that true freedom emanates from within, independent of external circumstances. Commanding yourself to stop entails harnessing your willpower to steer toward virtuous actions. Let's delve into practical applications. Imagine you frequently procrastinate, succumbing to social media distractions instead of engaging in more meaningful pursuits. Here, issuing the order to stop extends beyond setting aside your phone. It involves recognizing the impulse as a deviation from your values 
and consciously opting to redirect your focus toward activities harmonizing with your stoic objectives such as philosophical reading or reflective practices. This approach is applicable to any habit or impulse misaligned with your higher purpose, whether it's overindulgence, smoking, or any form of excess. The Stoic ethos isn't solely about halting the negative, but about substituting it with a positive. Enter the concept of virtue substitution, where you swap undesirable habits for those fostering growth and well-being. Furthermore, issuing the order to stop entails pausing to introspect on the motivations behind these behaviors. What discomfort or void are you attempting to assuage? Stoicism advocates confronting these discomforts head on, comprehending them, and acquiring coping mechanisms devoid of harmful habits. This introspection fosters heightened self-awareness, a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, ultimately empowering superior decision-making. In practicing this, bear in mind the Stoic conviction that you possess the capacity to choose your response in any circumstance. By commanding yourself to stop, you exercise one of the highest forms of self-restraint, a testament to your ability to live by rational principles despite habits that may have seemed insurmountable. Number five, liberate valuable resources. In contemporary life, valuable resources often dissipate on pursuits incongruent with our loftier objectives or core values. This might encompass mindless social media scrolling or overcommitting due to obligation rather than genuine interest or purpose. Stoicism urges us to scrutinize our commitments through the lens of virtue and utility, assessing whether they contribute to our moral and personal development. Practically, how can you reclaim these resources? Initiate by scrutinizing your typical day or week. Identify where your time dissipates, which tasks sap your energy, and what captures your attention. Do these align with your aspirations of living wisely, justly, courageously, and temperately? If not, it might be time for adjustments. Stoicism also advocates minimizing clutter, both physical and mental. By decluttering our surroundings, we cultivate an environment conducive to tranquility and focus, fostering conditions for growth aligned with Stoic precepts. By liberating these resources, you're not merely freeing up time in your schedule or space on your desk. You're creating room in your life for reflection, growth, and engagement with deeper existential facets. You're laying the groundwork for a life characterized by deliberate actions consonant with stoic virtues, ensuring each decision propels you closer to the individual you aspire to become. Number six, embrace challenges. Taking on difficult tasks isn't merely about testing our limits, but about expanding them, a principle deeply ingrained in stoic philosophy. The Stoics advocated for voluntary discomfort as a means to cultivate greater self-mastery. They believed that by confronting challenges, we not only demonstrate resilience, but also hone our ability to navigate future adversities with grace and composure. Consider deliberately selecting challenging endeavors, whether it's tackling a complex work project, embarking on a rigorous fitness regimen, or engaging in uncomfortable conversations. While daunting initially, each presents an opportunity to nurture virtues like courage, perseverance, and temperance. Stoicism underscores that the true value of these endeavors lies not solely in their outcomes, but in the personal growth they facilitate. How can you integrate this into your life? Begin by identifying a task you've avoided due to its difficulty. Approach it with a stoic mindset, viewing it as an opportunity to refine your character and virtues. Mentally prepare by focusing on the benefits of the undertaking, acknowledging not just its end results, but the inner strengths it fosters. Furthermore, Stoicism advocates not tackling challenges blindly but methodically, breaking them into manageable steps and establishing realistic expectations. This systematic approach not only makes daunting tasks more manageable, but also instills discipline and purpose in our actions. By consistently pushing your limits, you enhance your capacity to confront tough situations and bolster confidence in your capabilities. Each challenge serves as a testament to your resilience and commitment to a virtuous life grounded in stoic principles. Number seven, cultivate beneficial relationships. 
Stoicism underscores the significance of community and the profound impact of our social milieu on personal development. Stoic philosophers such as Seneca and Epictetus stress that the company we keep not only reflects our values, but also molds them. Surrounding ourselves with individuals who embody virtues, we aspire to cultivate accelerated progress towards self-improvement. Consider every interaction as an opportunity for growth. Spending time with people who challenge, support, and inspire us to uphold higher standards sets the stage for personal advancement. These relationships serve as constant reminders of our potential and fuel our pursuit of excellence. Practically, evaluate your current relationships. Identify connections that nurture your virtues and those that may hinder your growth. This isn't about judgment, but about recognizing influence. Invest in relationships that uplift you, initiating meaningful conversations and seeking advice. Additionally, actively seek out new connections aligned with your desired self. Join communities centered around shared interests or values, fostering connections that encourage critical thinking, just action, and courageous living. By curating your social circle, you create an environment conducive to personal and moral development, embodying the stoic ethos of cultivating meaningful connections that propel us toward our best selves. Number eight, embrace transformation. In Stoicism, change isn't seen as a threat, but as an integral aspect of the natural order of the universe. Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius likened fearing change to fearing the sunrise. Both are inevitable and beyond our control. Embracing change entails aligning ourselves with the flow of life, recognizing that each change presents an opportunity for personal growth and development. The initial step in overcoming the fear of change is understanding the Stoic concept of amor fati, or love of fate. This entails accepting everything that occurs, even seemingly negative experiences, as essential parts of our journey. Adopting this mindset not only alleviates much of the anxiety associated with uncertainty, but also allows us to glean valuable lessons from these changes. To practically stop fearing change, begin by observing your reactions to minor alterations in your daily routine, whether it's a shift in your work schedule or a last minute change in plans. Notice any resistance you feel and remind yourself of the stoic practice of viewing obstacles as opportunities. Each small change serves as a training ground for developing resilience and flexibility. Additionally, incorporate reflective meditation into your routine. Reflect on past changes that initially seemed daunting, but ultimately resulted in positive outcomes. This reinforces the belief that while change may be uncomfortable, it can lead to significant personal and professional growth. Remember, Stoicism doesn't advocate passively accepting change, but actively engaging with it in a manner that aligns with our virtues. This entails approaching change proactively, making decisions grounded in wisdom and justice, and utilizing change as a catalyst for self-improvement and the betterment of our surroundings. By viewing change through a stoic lens, you can transform what many fear into a profound source of empowerment and renewal. Number nine, prioritize the essential. In Stoicism, prioritizing the essential entails focusing on what genuinely contributes to your well-being and aligns with your core values. This principle guides you to cultivate a life free from clutter, be it superfluous activities, relationships, or possessions, and instead directed towards virtue and personal growth. Stoic philosophers underscore the significance of discerning between necessity and excess, urging us to shed the non-essential and prioritize essentials. This philosophy extends beyond physical minimalism to encompass our commitments, engagements, and even our thoughts. By minimizing the non-essential, we liberate our resources, time, energy, and attention to devote to activities fostering genuine fulfillment and happiness. To implement this in your daily life, begin by assessing your current commitments. Evaluate whether each activity or obligation contributes to your personal and ethical objectives. Does it facilitate growth or does it merely occupy time? This assessment demands honest self-reflection, a fundamental aspect of stoic practice. 
Once you identify what is inessential, summon the courage to say no. This may involve declining invitations, incongruent with your goals, disengaging from projects, draining your resources without yielding meaningful returns, or even distancing yourself from negative social interactions. Furthermore, apply this principle to your possessions and digital presence. Streamline your living space and online connections to include only items adding genuine value to your life. Prioritizing the essential empowers you to assert control over your environment, rather than allowing it to dictate terms. It entails making deliberate choices, reinforcing autonomy, and nurturing your journey toward a more purposeful and centered existence. Number 10. Reconnect with your rhythm. Your personal rhythm is akin to your natural state, where you feel most aligned with your values and most productive in your actions. Disruptions to this rhythm are inevitable, stemming from external events or internal turmoil. The stoic approach to addressing these disruptions isn't to overreact or despair, but to gently guide oneself back to established practices of self-discipline and mindfulness. To embody this, first identify the core activities constituting your rhythm. These may include routines like morning meditations, evening reflections, physical exercise, or dedicated periods for reading and contemplation. When life throws you off balance, prioritize these activities to re-establish your grounding. Furthermore, employ stoic reflection to understand the cause of disruption. Was it within your control? If so, consider adjustments for the future. If not, remind yourself of the stoic dichotomy of control, focusing on your response rather than the event itself. Returning to your rhythm also involves forgiving yourself for any deviations. Stoicism teaches self-compassion, recognizing that perfection isn't the goal, but continual improvement. Each return to your rhythm reinforces your commitment to living by stoic virtues, viewing setbacks not as failures, but as steps in the ongoing journey of self-mastery and personal development. Thank you for accompanying us on this exploration of Stoicism. Remember, each step towards mastering yourself equips you to embrace life's challenges with resilience and wisdom. Share your thoughts with us below, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Until next time.